compound interest will make you rich. And it's not magic, it's actually just math. Today you will learn what compound interest is, I will share some very useful calculators, and by the end of the video you will understand why even Einstein called it the eighth wonder of the world. But alright, so let's begin here by answering the very important question, what is compound interest? And in simple terms, compound interest is the principle of earning interest on both your initial principle, this is the money, money you start with, and on the interest that your money has already earned. So let's begin with a super simple example. Let's say that you invest $100 and that this $100 grows 10%. This means that it grows to 110%, or in other words, it has been growing by $10. But if it grows another 10% to the next year, then it will actually grow to 121. So you can see that a 10% growth will now be 11 instead, and so on and so on. And this right here, is one of the most one of the most powerful concepts in finance and i would say one of the most important concepts you know overall because compound interest uh, at least in my opinion doesn't only ap apply when it comes to finance it applies on things like knowledge and other stuff as well but all right so here are some very important things to have in mind when it comes to compound interest the first one is that it's often called interest on interest and i think that this is a very good and simple way to think about it because the growth builds upon the previous growth Another very powerful thing about compound interest is that it leads to exponential growth. So rather than having a curve that looks like this, compound interest leads to exponential curves. And that is a very powerful thing and something that us humans often have a very hard time to grasp. Another important thing is that the longer your money compounds, the faster it grows. So patience is very key. Another very important part here is that more frequent compounding, like for example, uh, compounding monthly instead of yearly helps, but time and the rate of return are bigger factors. And here, even small rates of return can lead to very large amounts if you give it enough time. And this is the, the thing that feels magical about compound interest. All right, so here you can read about exponential growth in action. And I can just already mention here that I don't have time. This is a massive presentation with, uh, you know, calculators, including even dollar cost averaging. We will talk more about that very soon, but I won't have time to go through this whole presentation in today's video, but the presentation and all the calculators are available for all gold and diamond channel members. So if you want to, you know, get access to this presentation and at the same time support uh, my work here, uh, please consider becoming a channel member. But now guys, let's take a look at this growth table right here. This is a comparison table which shows how $100 grow with different kinds of annual returns. So this is a very good way to get an intuitive understanding of compound interest. So for example, with 5%, it grows from 100 to 105 to 110.25 and so on and so on. With 10%, this was the example we talked about earlier. First it grows to 110, then 121, after five years, 161, and after 10 years, 259. But here you can see with 20% it goes much faster. 100, 120, 144, and by year 10, we are already at 619. So here, and this is very key, notice the huge difference at 20% after 10 years. If we as traders or investors can get a 20% or even more in annual return, that, you know, over time will be amazing. And here is the rule of 72. This is a very nice rule of thumb you can use. But alright, okay, so now it's finally time to take a look at our first calculator. And this right here is a simple compound interest calculator. And how this works, this one is very good to sort of visualize how an investment grows over time. So let's say that we inv invest $1,000. 
and that every year uh, on average our interest rate is 20% which means that we are growing with 20% per year. Uh, this is actually uh, over long periods of time this is actually a very good growth rate. And here you can choose the amount of years and the longer period we have the more powerful this becomes. Uh, last but not least you can choose uh, how often it compounds and the most normal is to choose annually so 20% per year and guys if you look at this you can see that we start here with $1,000 in the beginning you know it pretty much looks flat but here after a while you can see that we start to see the power of compound interest and this $1,000 actually grows to almost 10 million dollars here uh, if we use 50 years and if we have even more annual interest let's say that we increase the annual interest to 30% uh, this is a very good annual interest and calculate now you can see that it has grown to 500 million dollars but still here in the beginning it feels pretty slow but I hope you can see the power of uh, you know what happens when the exponential curve really starts to go up here this is a very underrated effect and by the way guys if you want access to this calculator it's right now available here if you go to mindmathmoney.com and you go to mind math members content you can see that you can find the calculator and the whole presentation right here so I think the calculator is on page three. You can use this calculator and calculate your future returns. But all right, so now then, now it's time to take a look at a very important concept and I will also share another calculator. And this is something called dollar cost averaging or for short DCA. And what is dollar cost averaging? Well, that basically means that we are investing a fixed amount regularly, for example, $100 a month or $100 a week and so on and so on and this calculator estimate the growth based on this so for example let's say that we start with an initial investment of $1,000 and after we have done this we invest uh, $100 more every month so this is a pretty reasonable you know investment strategy you start with a, a sum of money and then every month you invest a certain amount you can also invest a certain am amount every week or even every year but for now let's choose monthly here and let's once again choose a uh, let's say an estimated annual return of let's say 30 percent uh, number of years let's choose 50 years here and if we take a look here after 50 years the total amount we have invested uh, is $61,000. But our estimated value here is, what even is this? Is it 74? Yeah, 74 million. So you can see that this dollar cost averaging really leads to this exponential curve and the numbers can feel unreal. You know, 61% invested and 74 million. But remember here that, as I mentioned earlier, uh, a 30% return is actually considered very good. If you can do 30% every year, that is very good. A more sort of reasonable uh, might be, you know, 10%. But you can see that this is still very powerful and the investment of 61,000 would actually be uh, almost 2 million. But now then, what are the benefits of using DCA? Well, first of all, and this is actually very, very important, it reduces risk because you are not putting in everything at a certain point. When you use DCA, uh, you buy uh, something, for example, every month. So you basically spread out uh, the risk here across the market. So it reduces the likelihood of buying at the exact top. Uh, and by the way, guys, if you want to learn more about how to think about risk, I do have a video about risk management, uh, and I highly recommend to check out that video after this one. Risk management is very important whether you are trading or investing. And here, this one I pretty much men mentioned, you average out your price over time. And another important and quite underestimated you know, factor here is that it builds investment discipline and reduce, reduces the sort of emotions when it comes to trading and investing. When you have a fixed amount, you always know that every single month on this date, I will invest X amount. This takes much of the emotion 
out of the market. And it takes advantage of long-term growth trends and most importantly, the principle of compounding. But all right, so to not make this video too long, I think I will wrap this up. If you want to continue learning about this very important principle, as I said, guys, I do have the full uh, presentation and all the calculators available for uh, channel members, all gold and diamond channel members. And now the learning does not stop here. If you want to continue your investing journey, I highly recommend to check out my full course on fundamental analysis right here on YouTube. Just, just click or tap on the screen right here.